Alright, how's it going everyone? I just wanted to give another sneak peek uh, into this week's article. I, I did one of these last week and I'm going to do another one this week since there are no videos. Um, just trying to encourage people who may or may not visit the uh, the Pure MTGO site uh, to check out my article when it goes up this week. Uh, this week we are looking, I, I called it a first look. And what we're doing here is we're going to take a look at the impact that the release of Dark Ascension has had on the competitive pauper format. Um, you know, it's it's been out for about a week or so now, and you know we've kind of gotten a, a decent idea of what cards might be creeping their way into competitive popper play. Um, so we we take a look here. Uh, I start out and I analyze the current metagame. Um, went through about a week's worth of, of DE showings, daily event showings, um, and tallied up all the the decks and and the deck types to get a, a picture of what's showing on here and and what the the metagame looks like. Um, as you can see here real quick, we can see that Storm is currently dominating, holding about 17% of the showing, 16% is mono blue control, um, is it post comes in at 15, and then the next closest will be Goblins at 13. Um, those are kind of the big ones, Affinity comes in at 11. Um, we work our way down. Now, any deck that had five or less showings, I did kind of group into uh, a quote-unquote rogue deck, um, just for you know consistency's sake. Um, this included stuff like uh, Big Mana Green, uh, there was a couple Mystical Teachings decks, um, Blue Black Control that did not fit into the Demir post because they were not running the, the Locust Lands, uh, stuff like that. So we take a look here, I, I kind of drew up a nice little chart here, we've got a table that shows you the, the total showings there have been, sorry, um, and the average number of showings, etc, cetera, etc cetera, for these decks. Um, then I go into, I break it down deck by deck, uh, taking a look at what cards I, I felt should have had an impact, uh, still might have an impact, um, and have or have not made a showing so far. Um, we'll go through these real quick. Uh, kind of a spoiler to the article, but I do recommend you do check it out. Um, if not, you know, well, you've got the video, and this will kind of give you a quick look at what I'm going to talk about. Um, when it comes to Storm, the card that I, I think should have had an impact in it, or will, is Faithless Looting. Um, we do have an example deck here that did make a showing, uh, kind of brings the deck into mono red. Not really a necessary thing, but, but doable nonetheless. Um, and scroll down further, next on the list with mono blue control. We kind of went down the, the list based on their, their standing in the metagame. Um, and I talk about why there really hasn't been an impact from Dark Ascension, um, and why I thought the, the Stormbound Geist, thought incorrectly by the way, that Stormbound Geist should have made a, an appearance in those decks. Um, is it post? Uh, there has been no impact really on this one as well, um, but I do talk about, you make an argument for the addition of Fires of Undeath, so check that out and see why. Um, when it comes to goblins, uh, there really hasn't been any goblins, you know, thankfully we got all these third creatures in this format um, for Dark Ascension. I really like the theme and all, but, you know, had they added goblins, it would have been bad. Um, we've gotten a lot of goblins so far, uh, and, and adding more just would have been overkill, and they would have really done themselves an injustice. Um, we do get devils, and, um, you know, so there, there really hasn't been any change. Um, but I, I kind of suggest as Forge Devil is something to keep an eye out for. Um, I may or may not have an impact. Um, Affinity, there really was not anything as far as um, artifacts that were released. There were only two artifacts for Pauper. Um, both were equipment and both will not be used. Uh, so no changes there. Um, when it comes to Infect, um, we take a look here at this deck list. Um, the insertion of Hunger of the Howl Pack. Um, and what, and I kind of talk about why that that is a a, a, nice, a nice addition. Sorry, stumbling of words. Um, a nice addition to the deck, but not necessarily a four of addition. Um, Mono black control. We talk about the potential for tragic slip, um, and why undying evil has come into play. Um, here's a, a deck list, and all these deck lists are decks that have made a showing on the daily events so far over this past week. Um, and this is the addition of an undying evil. Um, Tragic Slip has not made a showing yet, but I kind of talk about, um, you know, the, the fact that it has potential to fit in. Um, Mono White Aggro, the card to be is Loyal Cathar, um, Cathar, Cathar, whatever. This Loyal sir, Soldier is what I'm going to call him. Um, if you are running Mono White in Pauper and you are not using four of this guy, change it. Change it right now. He is a guaranteed four of. There is not a downside to this card. Um, find room. If you can't find room, check out this deck list and it will tell you where to find room. Um, this guy is just too good to be left out. Um, great for drafts. He's just a, a great all-around common creature. Uh, you know, you get a lot of garbage in common, and that is not one of them. Next up, we look at red-green aggro burn. 
Um, again, you know, if someone wants to make a comment here um, and doesn't want to make a comment on the site, I do ask if there is if someone has a, a more proper name for this deck. Um, I've just been referring to it as Red Green Aggro Burn. I'm not really familiar with the fact that, you know, whether or not, sorry, it has uh, a proper name. So um, if you want to clarify that for me, that would be fantastic. Comment below. Um, you know, it's it's kind of a new showcase on the, the past week or, or two that, that Red Green Burn has come out. Um, for those who are not familiar, it's kind of a, a full green creature base with red burn to, to back it up. Um, and this takes a look at a deck that has brought in the Hallowhenge Beast um, as a two of for this big beater. Um, and I kind of talk about why he's he's good even though he has no abilities to himself. Um, Mono Green Aggro has seen the addition of Young Wolf. Um, take a look at this deck list and kind of talk about how it fits in, in its structure and its its ability. Um, and the final one on the list is the Mirror Post. Um, kind of talk about the, you know, referring back to Mono Blue and Is It Post and why these three decks really haven't had any kind of real addition to them from this set. Uh, there really isn't anything out there. Um, little note about just rogue decks. Um, still waiting to see that green, white, infinite token deck. Uh, I'm kind of playing around with a, a set of my own. Um, trying to see if I can make it work. Uh, if if I do finally get that to work, it will be showcased. Um, but that is not going to see the light of day until it is, you know, playable in some form. Um, I do talk about there was only one showing from a rogue deck that had Dark Ascension added to it, um, and that was a mono black aggro deck. Um, and I talk about it here. There's a link to the showing if you want to go check out the list. Um, and bonus content, you'll find it on my channel. I did put up um, kind of a, a talking about uh, one of my experiences in. Um, DKA draft, uh, the the three packs of Dark Ascension drafts. We've been having the release events, and I've always take great advantage of these. Um, it's a great chance to fill out um, holes in a set. Um, so, you know, I, I usually do okay with these. Right now I'm doing pretty well. I, I bought in for three drafts worth of tickets. Um, so, you know, that was it. I was going to do three drafts. I bought the tickets. Um, and right now I've turned those three drafts into seven. So, um, check this this deck out, and I, I make a quick talk about red and black in draft. Um, I'm not really one to focus in on draft for Dark Ascension, but I did want to kind of throw out that bonus content to anyone who is interested, um, because it is kind of the thing to do right now. So, yep, that's it. Just wanted to, to give you all a preview and, and kind of suggest that anyone who comes across this video and is not a frequent visitor to puremtgo.com to go check it out. Um, and for all you Pauper fans, you know, I think this is a great chance to, to look at and discuss kind of the impact that Dark Ascension will have on Pauper.